Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is time for the third video in this little mini series about calories versus points. Today we are talking all things macros. We've been able to figure out our calories based on the calorie video that went out prior to this one. If you have not seen the points versus calories video or the how to figure out your calorie video, I'll link those down below for you guys. Make sure you're checking those out first so that this one makes a little bit more sense. Once you've determined your calorie goal, you can then determine your macros and what macronutrient breakdown works best for you. Now, as a reminder, I am not a doctor. I am not a dietitian. This is my own personal research. A lot of this information is fact. It's not something that I just made up. It is a lot of resource information that I have found that I've used for myself to figure out my calorie goal and my macronutrient goal. And I thought that it would be beneficial to share it with you guys as well. It's kind of the last piece of the puzzle of points versus calories. Last in this series will be a what I eat in a week week points versus calories so you can see exactly how many points versus how many calories how I make those adjustments and how that all worked out for me in that video so that will be coming out after this one probably a week or so later so stay tuned for that so without further ado let's jump into how to figure out my macros what percentage of this should I eat what grams of that should I eat let's talk all about it figure out your macros, you need to figure out your calories first. That's why the suggestion was to watch the calorie video prior to this one. So you come armed with your calorie goal daily to this video. Once you've determined how many calories a day you want to eat to have mild, moderate, or aggressive weight loss, you can then take that calorie number and break that down into macronutrients. So what is a macronutrient? I'm going to put the description right here on the screen for you guys. But essentially, this is carbs, fats, and proteins, and how much of these you're eating throughout the day. Now, there are other macronutrients. There's sodium, there's saturated fat, there's cholesterol. There's all types of macronutrients that make up a calorie and that make up a daily intake of food as a human being. But for us today, we're going to figure out what breakdown of macronutrients, basically fat, carbs and protein do you want to eat to help make your weight loss journey or your health journey in general a little more successful for you so we have figured out our bmr which is our basal metabolic rate which is the calories that our body burns doing nothing we figured out our tdee which is our daily total daily energy expenditure number which is what our body burns just doing daily tasks like brushing our teeth making our food doing our laundry and then from there we are going to take that number we're going to deduct the number of calories that we want to be in a deficit whether that's 250 500 a thousand 750 whatever it is that you've determined works for you to lose whether it be half a pound to two pounds per week and that final number is the number of calories that you are eating every day but what are you eating with those calories now could you take your 1500 calories every day and eat snickers bars and lose weight most likely because you're still in a calorie deficit. And the bottom line of weight loss is calories in versus calories out. Now, if you ate 1500 calories worth of Snickers, are you going to feel good? Maybe, maybe not. You're probably going to be on quite a sugar high and you're probably not going to be really satiated and full throughout the day. And that's where macros come in. It really helps give you a number, whether it be a percentage or grams, we're going to talk about both, to help you meet your calorie goal to lose weight and to do it in a healthy manner. Making sure you're getting in enough carbs, enough fat, and enough protein. And you can vary your number of macros based on the results and the type of food that you want to eat. So let's talk a little bit about figuring out these macros. There are a ton of macronutrient calculators online, just like there's BMR, TDEE, calorie calculators. There's a ton of resources for you to figure out what percentage or grams your macros should look like. I will link a few of those down below, but we're going to do the work ourselves. It's actually very, very simple. First, we need to determine the type of healthy eating that we want to do. Now, do we want to do the American standard percentage of carbs, fat, and protein? Do we want to eat a little bit higher protein? Do we want to eat a little bit lower fat? 
what type of eating style do you want to do? So if you're interested in just the traditional breakdown for macros, it's very, very simple. That traditional breakdown is going to be 45 to 65% of your total calories daily as carbs, 20 to 35% of your total calories as fat, and 10 to 35% of your total daily calories as protein. This is a standard breakdown that most people will use, unless again, they're trying to have a specific eating style. Now, a lot of people try to eat a little bit lower fat, so the fat percentage may go down. A lot of people try to eat a little bit less carbs, so that carb number could go down. And a lot of people try to eat a little bit more protein, so they're going to up their percentage of their daily calories that go to protein and thus lower their amount of calories that go to carbs and to fat. So in the event that you want to eat a little bit more protein, which is kind of the style of eating that I follow, I try to have more protein than I do carbs or fat. A great breakdown for your macros if you want to eat a little bit higher protein is going to be 40 to 45% of your daily calories as protein. 30 to 35% as fat, so we're upping our fat a bit as well, and then 25 to 30% of your daily calories as carbs. So we're still eating quite a bit of carbs, but we're really just focusing on protein, getting in a lot of good, healthy, lean protein throughout the day. So now that you have kind of determined how you want to percentage-wise break down your macros, let me give you an example. To figure out our macros, we're going to go on that same website we use to figure out our calories. That's the calculator.net. It's free. It doesn't want your information. I really, really like this one. And we're going to go ahead and input Susie's information here like we did for her calories. So Susie is 40 years old. She's a female. She's five feet, four inches and she weighs 165 pounds. Now it's asking you a couple of additional questions. What is your activity? And if you remember from the calorie video, she's pretty sedentary. She has little to no exercise. And it's also going to ask you your goal because your goal is really going to determine your macros. So you can see here, mild weight loss of half of a pound a week, weight loss of one pound, extreme weight loss of two pound, and then of course your gain. So with Susie not being too far from her goal weight, we're gonna go ahead and just give her a mild weight loss of half of a pound a week, which if you remember was a calorie deficit of 250 off of the calories she was supposed to eat every day. So totally doable, totally sustainable. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, calculate button. And here is her breakdown for her macros from this website. So they're saying that she should eat about 87 grams of protein every single day, 191 grams of carbs, 41 grams of fat, less than 38 grams of sugar, less than 16 grams of saturated fat, and about 1,434 calories is what they're recommending for her to lose half of a pound per week. So it's quite interesting. And now if you look up here, you can select how you want your macros broken down. Do you want more of a balanced macronutrient profile? What if you're more interested in low fat? Watch, it will change your grams. So see how it adjusted the grams for a low fat? You can also select a low carb diet and you can also select a high protein. Now for me, I gear more towards this high protein, so you're gonna see that it wants, Susie, if she opted for high protein, to eat about 122 grams of protein, 163 grams of carbs, and 37 grams of fat, and she's still at that same calorie goal for the day. And then the last option is to go ahead and create your own. If you're somebody that wants to just kind of adjust using bars here to create your own macronutrient by grams. You can also figure out your macros by percentage versus grams. Here is the website that I went to to do that. All of this will be linked down below. So we put in Susie's calories, 1484. Now we're going to go right down here and we're going to hit this calculate button and it is giving us percentages of macronutrients. So they're saying she should eat 55% of her daily calories and carbs, which is actually right where the normal American standard is. 15% protein, which is a little bit low, I'd say. The American standard is 10 to 35%. And then she wants about 30% of her calories to be fat, which is right where it needs to be. Now, I would say that she may want to up the protein a little bit, but again, this is where she's gonna do what works best 
for her body. So you can also figure it out by percentage. So now you have a percentage of protein, carbs, and fat that you should shoot for every day based on the type of eating style that you've chosen. So Susie is pretty American standard. She's gonna go with the basic percentage of carbs, fat, and protein every single day. Now she's curious how many grams of each of these should she be eating because that's honestly the easiest way to track your macros is by grams. So you have a protein goal of this many grams. You have a carb goal of this many grams. You have a fat goal of this many grams. It's very, very simple to figure that out. So if you take your total number of calories that you eat in a day and you times that by your carb goal, which is 45%, that's going to give you the number of grams that you need every day of carbs. You do that same math, with fat, you do that same math with protein, and you then have the number of grams of each of these items that you should be eating every single day. Now, is this exact science? No, and again, you're gonna get different numbers from different calculators online, and just like we did with calories, we wanna go ahead and take the average and make that our grams goal for macros and our percent goal for macros. So now I'm gonna show you in the Lose It app, which is the app that I actually track my calories and macros. There is a free version of this app that you can take advantage of. There's also my Fitness Pal that virtually does the same thing as the Lose It app, and there are paid versions of each of these apps as well. Lose It is $39.99 a year, and my Fitness Pal is $49.99 a year. Now, I have the premium version of Lose It because I really pay attention and use this every single day. I'm always double tracking. So you decide what works for you, but there is a free version of each of these apps. So on May 27th, I didn't do any exercise. So my budget was 1860, I ate 1856. So basically I was under by four calories. You can see everything that I logged for the day for all of my meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. But here's what I wanted to show you guys for the macronutrients. So if you slide left, there is my breakdown of my food that day. So I ate 38% fat, 32% carbs, and 30% protein. That's a pretty darn good macronutrient day. I actually probably could have upped my carbs a little bit as well that day. Now if I slide over, I ate 137 out of 183 grams of protein. So I was actually under my protein goal by 46 grams. So on this day, again, I could have upped my protein to get a little bit closer to my protein goal. And then my carbohydrates, I was right there. I was 1.1 carbohydrate over, which is pretty much right where I needed to be carbohydrate wise. And then fat wise, I was actually 15 grams over. So I did eat a little bit more fat that day than my recommended, which is 70, I ate 78 grams versus 63 grams of recommended. But it happens, you guys, you're not gonna have perfect macros every day. It's just kind of a baseline for you to use. Now I set all of this up myself in the Lose It app. It will automatically populate this screen for your calories and it will automatically populate the percentage that you're eating throughout the day. But you actually have to go in and enter your goals for protein, carbs, and fat. This is going to show you the number of grams of carbs, fat, and protein that I'm shooting for every single day. And as I eat my meals and as I track my food, I get a little bit closer to that goal. And again, it's a visual for me to take a look at and maybe adjust meals so that I can meet my goals. You can track your water, your activity. You definitely want to keep tracking your weight in whatever calorie tracking app you use so that your calories and macros are adjusted based on your weight loss. But it's very, very simple. Once you have BMR, TDEE, you have a macronutrient goal. You can then break that down to whatever type of healthy journey that you want to be on. So that is in a nutshell, macronutrients. Again, you have to do what works for you. Every body is different. There's no set number of percentages or grams that every person should do. What I eat macro wise is going to be different than what you eat macro wise. I recommend that you do your research and you figure out what type of macro breakdown works best for you. And most importantly is something that you can stick with and is sustainable throughout your weight loss. And then also when you get into maintenance by knocking your carbs so low that you can never eat a piece of bread, candy, cake, chips again, is probably not going to be sustainable for you. So I recommend that you use the American standard percentage breakdown 
or maybe up your protein a little bit or lower your fat a little bit, but try to stay with a balanced overall macronutrient profile for the day. Again, it's going to be sustainable. You're gonna be able to stick with it and you're going to see results. It's all about calories in versus calories out and calories are not created equal. Macronutrients is very, very important to figure out what types of foods you should be eating throughout the day. So thank you for joining me on this macro video. I hope that it, hope that it really helps you guys figure out how to do your macros. All of the resources I talked about will be linked down in the description box below. So check them out again look at several calculators and do an average and really tweak it to what you feel is going to work best for you. It's all about what works for you. So take advantage of the resources down in the description box. Also is the link to head over to my Facebook group. So click on that, come over and join us. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. Also in the description box are links to my favorite things, discount codes, and my website where you can find all of my recipes. If you're new, make sure you hit that little subscribe button and that bell just so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Stay tuned for the final video in this little mini series about what I eat in a week, calories versus points. It's going to be interesting for sure. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thumbs up this video if you like learning about macros, calories, and how to work it into your WW program. It means a lot to me and it really helps my channel. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments. I am here to help. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.